We're going to talk today a little bit about the history of flipping a classroom. It's changed a little bit. Originally, we were all the sage on stage. We would teach to the kid, and that was it. The problem became the kids that were absent. Traditionally, that's always been a problem. So a group of teachers actually started to videotape their lessons and put it onto um, a computer for the absent kid to watch. So now they could sit and watch their lesson at home. So a movement actually started after this that they would flip the actual lecture to the students and the student then would watch the lecture at home and do the classwork or homework in school so they could get the extra help they needed and it was a little more hands-on. What we're going to talk about is flipped learning, not a flipped classroom. So let's put that in a framework. Flipped learning can be a lot of different things. It can be a rotation station or group rotation or a lab rotation. It can also actually be that flipped classroom. Um, this all allows or com combining all of these things allows for a more self-paced environment which is flipped learning. So uh, any combination of all these is flipped learning. We all ch actually in this area refer to this as blended learning. So let's talk about how this translates now into the art room. We're going to look at different ways and actually build a little piece that will translate all of this make your life a little easier. In